Hey guys, Jen back here today with Strong Foundations Coaching and Consulting. And today I'm sharing five reasons why you should forgive and move on. Or better and more fun stated, let that shit go. Now, I'm pretty certain that my dad used to say a lot, and I know that my husband has said it to me hundreds of times. Okay, maybe not hundreds, but probably a hundred times throughout the 21 years we've been together to just let that shit go. And as a woman who likes to solve problems and who likes to make sure things don't happen again, I often wanted to get to the root of problems to make sure it didn't happen again. And I can tell you both my dad and my husband, don't let him hear he's going to see it at some point. So I guess cat's out of the bag. He was right. And there were so many times that I, I, in hindsight, could have just let things go. And in not letting them go, I can tell you that, for me at least, I, I caused myself a lot of dis-ease in situations that happened, in disagreements that happened, in perspectives that maybe were different that got blown up and out of proportion, that I could have just been the one to throw my arms up and say, nope, I'm over it. I'm not engaging in this. And again, it would have caused me a lot less dis-ease than I caused myself in those situations. Now, you guys, I can tell you that since, since recovering from thyroid cancer, which really was the spark of delving into my development and delving into my journey of just authentically being me as much on the outside as I have always been on the inside, I can tell you that I had a lot of forgiveness that needed to happen. And there, there are a couple very specific people in my life that I've chosen to forgive. Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean that I re-engage those relationships. I, I really believe that oftentimes as humans, we're so different and we all have different, unique, amazing perspectives and thoughts and opinions. And that's all great. And often it just means that me and you don't match and that's okay. And it doesn't make either one of us more right or more wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that there are, are times and people who just intentionally cause harm to other people. And I in no way condone that behavior. In no way. But not related to that and just a matter of opinions and people and differences in those matches not making matches it doesn't make one person right or the other person wrong. It just means that your, your personalities don't make a match. And limiting time together is probably a good, healthy thing to not be together so much or to just not have a relationship at all in some way. And I know that that can be hard at times, especially if they're family members um, or maybe people that you work with. Who knows? So forgiveness, forgiving the situations of the past, letting it be known as lessons or life experiences, however you choose. For me, I choose to, I choose to reflect it as every experience I've had along the way has made me me. I love who I am. So reflect on that, you guys. Reflect on every experience you've had along the way with people whether they're things that were empowering or disempowering to you or however, reflect on it as it taught you a lesson in some way and it made you the amazing human that you are. So be grateful for that. So with that being said, top five reasons why you should let that shit go. Number one, better relationships. Now, my husband and I have been together for 21 years. Anyone watching who has been together for that amount of time or even half that time or a quarter of that time, you know that you have times of disagreement and you have times where your perspectives are very different. 
Now, anyone who knows me and knows my husband knows we are very opposite people. And I can tell you the quicker both of us are to just accept each other for who we are and accept each other for that situation happened and we're over it, the less stress we bring into our relationship and the less stress we bring into our home. And guys, it took years to figure that out and don't let it take years. Improve your relationships just by simply forgiving the situation and saying there was no ill intent. It just happened the way it was and I'm over it. And of course, taking whatever steps needed to, to not let things happen again. So better relationships. Number two, reducing anxiety and depression. Guys, I can tell you for me specifically, I let situations get to me so powerfully from a anxiousness perspective for so many years. And I can tell you it caused me a lot of dis-ease. I really believe that it, it is in large part of what caused me to get cancer. And there is medical proof behind that. Yes, medical proof behind anxiousness and depression and the stress that we cause ourselves, causing dis-ease in the body and metastasizing into things like cancer. Guys, don't put yourself through that. Forgive, forgive the situation, move on from having a relationship with that person or those people or those situations if you need to and you can. Change the job if you need to and you can. And bring yourself to joy and happiness and peace and calm in life as much as you can. We all have stress. I mean, that's just normal human nature. But bring yourself to as much peace as possible and and you'll and that comes with forgiveness and it'll make for a much healthier you so that's number two um immune system immune support so anytime that we cause ourselves anxiousness or stress or depression or consistent anger and frustration i i don't know the exact statistics but i can tell you that it impacts our immune system so every hit that you take, I think I think it's something like every for every so many minutes that you're angry, it impacts your immune system for like five or six hours. You guys, five or six hours, you're impacting your immune system by being anger, angry or frustrated. Is it worth it? Or is it better worth just forgiving and moving on from that situation or event um, that you need to? Self-esteem, number four. I think we're on four. Yeah, number four, self-esteem. Self-esteem, it's confidence. It, it's, it's being in that place to be able to say, I'm confident enough in my own skin to say, nope, I forgive you, I forgive the situation, and I'm moving on. You're worth it. And there's a lot of steps and tools that that I can help you find if you need it to help get in enough of a confident place so that you believe enough in you to not let yourself be disempowered and not let the opinions of others be your own unless you want them to be. So that's number four. Number five, mental health. And I know this can definitely be tied to anxiety and depression Mental health, you guys, that's, it is so important to life and a happy life and a healthy life. Again, these are all tied together. If you think about it, when we're angry or frustrated, it does things to our neural pathways in our brain that actually change the thoughts that we think and how we respond to different situations. So there's my top five. Top five reasons why you should forgive, let go, and move on. From situations. Trust me, you guys, it's so worth it. And you'll be glad you did on the other side. So stay very well. Much love. And I will see you again here soon. Bye, guys.